The Borders and Los Cedros Apartments are proud sponsors of UTV Radio. The Borders is located at 375 Media Luna Road and Los Cedros at 1025 Wild Rose Lane in Brownsville, Texas. For more information, call The Borders at 956-546-1605 or Los Cedros at 956-542-1941. UTB Radio is sponsored in part by T-Mobile. Hello, I'm Nasiri Ramos with UTB Radio, and I am here with George Munoz, who is the Special Projects Coordinator for UT Brownsville Student Health Services Department. Mr. Munoz is going to talk to us today about the university observance of World AIDS Day, which takes place on December 1st. Please tell us about how UTB will mark this observance. All right, we'll be doing two things. We'll be doing an event in the morning and then an event in the evening. And the event in the morning is targeted at awareness. We're going to bring out information on what HIV is, what the difference between HIV and AIDS is, how many cases we have in the Valley, how many cases we have in Brownsville. And that's to bring and let people know, hey, it's here and we need to take care of ourselves so that th it doesn't continue to spread, right? Uh, we still have a lot of people thinking that this is a gay disease or a gay problem when in reality is everyone's problem. So in the morning you'll see passing a lot of pamphlets, a lot of information, talking about statistics, and something cool that we wanna do is actually do a ribbon. Um, a lot of people can see a pink ribbon and say, oh, that's uh, October breast uh, cancer awareness. Well, the red ribbon signifies um, both eight, the fight against HIV and also substance abuse and that's really what our grant does. So what we want to do is make a ribbon uh, making and having people stand wearing red shirts. And we're asking people to wear the red shirt, you know, come ready. We bought shirts, we have a hundred shirts to give out and we will give you a red shirt even if you have a red shirt but we want to have those shirts just in case someone comes with a blue shirt and says, hey I want to do it you know and you're ready to go and you can wear that shirt and just kind of say you know what UTB cares that we we actually did a little program like that and that's really what we want to do the two events that's the one in the evening I mean that's the one in the morning the one in the evening is we're gonna be showing a movie because of the way we have bought the um, the rights for the movie I can't tell you the name of the movie but I can tell you it's a movie right and we'll be showing that movie there and, but it does have something to do with with HIV and it has a lot of popular actors. Um, so you see some of the actors that came out in Pretty Woman, some of them that have come out in The Big Bang Theory, but I just can't tell you the name of the movie. <laughs> Where and at what time will it take place? Okay, so the morning event, uh, the awareness event as I call it, is going to be from 11 in the morning till two in the, uh, till two in the afternoon. The picture will be taken at 1.30. So we're expecting everyone to show up. If, if you wanna be in the ribbon, at 1, that way we can start formation, take that picture by 1.30, get you out of there uh, before um, 2 o'clock. Uh, but you can come and check us out anytime between 11 and 2. The movie will begin at 6.30 and finish when it finishes. What is the purpose of the event? Awareness. Uh, this whole, this whole um, event is just awareness. We're not providing HIV testing, nothing. All we want to make sure is people know the awareness. How does it get transmitted? Um, how, um, where can they go to get tested, and we'll provide all that information here. We're targeting awareness. Who can attend the event? Anyone. Um, anyone can come. You know, this is, we, it is on campus, so it is targeted towards students, staff, faculty, but this, this issue goes beyond the university. This is a community issue, and that's something that our grant, um, and we call our grant, um, it's Think Before You Act, HIV and Substance Abuse Prevention Program. And we have money to target our community. So we do have a promotora that goes out to the community and talks to community members about HIV, substance abuse. So it's, it's for them as well. If, if someone out in the community has lost a loved one, has someone that has HIV or AIDS, and has seen the negative connotations that people give the, the, the infection, you know, come on out, sh support them. You know, it's just like anything else. It doesn't change who you are just because you have HIV. So we're, we're opening it up to anybody that wants to come, but primarily it's our students. What is the incidence of HIV or AIDS among college students? Right now, um, working with Valley AIDS Council, last year they had um, individuals from 24 and under. Um, they only had about 34 cases of positive people that were within that age. 
this year the year's not over and they're already about 57 uh, 24 years and under and that's really our target population as students because that's around the age where we're at you know 18 and up and we're also seeing that the Latino uh, population is being hit with higher numbers of infection in Texas we're about 27 uh, 20 I'm sorry 29.3 percent of all individuals that are infected Latinos so we're being hit not only because of age but also because of our ethnicity down here uh, in South Texas. And a, a lot of us are Latinos. A lot of us in the university are Hispanic. So we need to make sure that we're targeting our audience. What types of services does your department offer in the prevention of HIV and or AIDS? We do something that is, um, I think, is the best preventative method, which is awareness. We tell people, hey, the, the virus is out there. This is how it's transmitted. A lot of people say, oh, I can get it through mosquito. You don't get it through a mosquito. Oh, I got it in the toilet. Uh, well, it depends what you're doing on the toilet, right? Uh, <laughs> but if you're just using the restroom, you're going to be okay. Uh, people don't know that breast milk contains the virus. Some people say, for example, saliva, sweat, tears. That doesn't have the virus to get you infected, right? So we talk about what are the fluids that do. Um, some people say, oh, that's only if you sleep around or you have a lot of sex. No, uh, tattooing, uh, sharing needles. Uh, individuals that um, need to inject themselves with insulin, you know, sharing a needle has a lot of problems, drug usage, right? So it's not just sex. So we do that, that uh, prevention of awareness. Uh, we also provide HIV testing on campus. It's every, every Wednesday from 9 in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon with a lunch break. The guys got to eat, so we let them go from noon to 1. So any, any other time, from four to uh, from nine to four thirty, HIV testing is available. Um, the other thing that we do, if counseling is needed, we partner up with Valley AIDS Council. If you're positive, you know, if you let's say they tell you tomorrow that you're positive, how is that a life changer? It will be. So counseling will be needed. Things, you know, how do you tell your family if you're ready to tell them? So we also offer counseling for those students that are positive with help of uh, Valley AIDS Council. Valley AIDS Council hooks them up with medical care and any other type of assistance that they may need. If they're kicked out of their homes because of their status, they can look at housing for them and other, and other venues. So that's how we help. Has there been any recent cases of HIV among UTB students? Um, that, all that information is kept confidential. Um, all the, if you know, if we do have a positive student, what we do is we do, we will make sure that they are referred, that they understand what um, what does it mean to have HIV, that it is not a death sentence. We make sure that they are hooked up with all the services and that they understand that they have the virus and that it can be transmitted, obviously through certain ways. Just because they have the virus and they shake your hand, or you know they give you the kiss on your cheek, kind of like you know we as Hispanics do, or give you a hug that's not the way it's transmitted. By sharing a glass, that's not how it's transmitted. right? So we advise them of what they have to do and how they have to take care of themselves. But to tell you how many numbers, things like that, you know, all that information, we keep that confidential. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to add? I would, I would love to add that, you know, please help us support this cause. Come check us out. Um, it's going to be here at the Student Union Lawn. Um, at one um, at one o'clock, come be ready with your red shirt on. We really need help. We need to make it stand out. You know that UTB cares. That UTB stands behind any other students, um, regardless if they are HIV positive, HIV negative, and we stick together and that we will make a difference. Because this isn't just done at UTB. This is done. World AIDS Day is celebrated across the globe, in China, in Japan, in Europe countries, in Australia. Um, in African countries, North America, South America, we're all celebrating this one day. This is the first movement that we ever saw worldwide that received so much attention. And it started back in the 80s, we're in 2000 and some, and it's still here, right? We can't just let that go. So just come, come check us out and it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Free t-shirts, we're gonna have food, popcorn, things like that. Well, Mr. Munoz, thank you for being here today. And to our audience, thank you for joining us today. I'm Leslie Ray Ramos with UTV Radio.